In this video, we're going to talk about git fetch versus git pull and to know what are the main differences between these two. Welcome to Automate Now. I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. On the top left corner, you're going to see this repo that is found on GitHub. This is called test repo. And I went ahead and cloned this repo to my computer. And this is what you can see on the bottom left. And on the right, you can see source tree open with this repo and the main branch has been checked out. Now let's just say that we have two developers. I'm developer one and I'm making some changes to this repo locally here. And let's say that we have another developer, developer two, and they are also making some changes to the same repo. And let's go ahead and mimic a change made by developer two. And we're going to go to GitHub and then we're going to say add file. And then we're going to say create new file. And here we're going to give this file a name. It's gonna be called developer2.txt. Let's go ahead and add some text here. Then we're going to scroll down, maybe add some comments over here. And then we click commit new file. And now we can see that this remote branch contains a new file, developer2.txt. But my local branch does not contain that file yet. So one way that we can bring those changes into our local branch is by using this command called fetch this button called fetch and what fetch does is going to reach out to github to the remote branch and it's going to find out if there are any changes to this main branch notice that this is the main branch that I have checked out and over here we also have a main branch on the remote so it's going to go out to the remote branch and see if there are any changes and hopefully it's going to pick up that there is a new change where a new file has been added so let's go ahead and click fetch right here leave this default check mark and click OK now look at what happened over here. Now we have a number one next to a down arrow. This means that our local branch is behind by one commit compared to the remote branch. This is also indicated by this circle right here. This line that is highlighted right now, this is what we have in our local. And this up here, the next line, is what is found on the remote branch. If I click this, you're going to see down here a green plus sign that shows a developer2.txt file has been added. This is what the green plus sign represents. We also see the contents of the file over here on the right. But if we look down here on the bottom left, we see that our local branch does not yet contain that file. And that is because git fetch only lets us know if there are any changes. It does not try to merge those changes into our local branch. That is the job of the git pull command. And source tree has this button over here that says pull. And notice that it has a number one next to it right now. It means that there is at least one commit that we need to pull from the remote. And git pull is two commands in one. It first does a git fetch to find out if there are any changes, and then it does a git merge. And that merges any remote changes into our local branch. Let's go ahead and click pull. And here we have pull from remote. We only have one option, origin. So we're going to leave the default there. And the remote branch to pull would be the main branch. Again, there's only one option, but we can verify this over here. This remote repo only contains this branch right here called main. Then we're going to leave this default check mark right here, and we're going to click pull. Before clicking pull, I want you to notice what happens in this bottom left corner right here. You're going to notice that this file that was added is going to pop up automatically down here. So let's go ahead and click pull. The command is now completed and we can see that the new file was added, the developer2.txt. So hopefully by now you can clearly see the difference between fetch and pull. And just to recap, fetch will let you know about any changes happening on the remote branch. However, it will not try to merge those changes into your local branch. That is the job of the git pull. And git pull contains two commands in one. It first conducts a fetch, and then it conducts a merge. Thanks so much for watching Automate Now. I'll see you in the next video.